Today we're checking out the EVGA P55 SLI. So this is not their highest end P55 board, but it's no slouch either. So you do get support for pretty much the full P55 feature set. So you got Crossfire, SLI, um, pretty good VRM solution, all of that stuff. Now this is positioned just under their For the Win board, so there are some things that are missing. I'm just gonna get this out here. It's actually a very similar looking board though, so here we go. Let's, let's get into the accessory package. So we got our driver CD, okay. Then we've got what seems to be uh, the same guide that they had with the For the Win board. Maybe a couple slight differences. So that's your, your getting started guide and oh no, it is different. It is different. It has just this board on it. So there you go. There's your quick start visual guide. Uh, this is totally going to get blown away here, so just just a sec. Ah, the wind's coming. Okay, so then we've got a Molex to SATA adapter and two SATA cables, so quite a lot less in terms of accessory package here. Then we've got two USB and one FireWire port on a little PCI bracket. Okay, so let's take out this uh, divider here. Okay, more accessories. So there's our black flexible SLI bridge. There's our IO shield. Got the padding on the back of it, that's a kind of a new thing. Uh, then we've got our motherboard manual. Uh, yeah, not really anything particularly interesting about that. All right, let's get the board out here because that's the uh, that's what you folks are paying to see. Not that anyone really pays to watch videos on YouTube, but whatever. Okay, so there we've got our desiccant package in there that keeps your board nice and dry and safe during transportation. Okay, let's get into the board. So, some major differences between this and the classified. Right off the top, we don't have support for that little uh, that little breakout with all the power, reset, clear CMOS, all that stuff. So you'll actually find all the buttons on board here. There's your reset power, clear CMOS, there's your, uh, your post screen, your debug screen, all that kind of stuff. Um, let me have a look. You've got that same little uh, lit designer sort of thing there, that's really cool. And then I really liked this on the For the Win board. You've got your little step-by-step -step guide on how to install the CPU right on top of the CPU socket. Very neat. Three, two, one, done. Okay, then we've got support for the usual dual channel DDR3 memory. So you can see that here. The color scheme of this board is kind of all black and gray. So it's a very high performance sort of looking color scheme. Another big difference here, when we look at the power connectors, is this board has only one eight pin connector. The For the Win board actually has two. So you can deliver ridiculous amounts of current to your CPU. The 24 pin you'll find on the right hand edge of the board, just exactly exactly where it's supposed to be. And then let's see what else we've got here. Can peel off this sticker. Ah, there's a nice uh, brushed aluminum finish on that chipset heatsink. I really like to see that. And then we've got six SATA ports all on the edge of the board exactly where they need to be. And let's have a look at the uh, at the I.O. here. So we've got one, two, three, four, only six USB ports on the back, but they did give you that I.O. panel thing. We've got our digital audio, Claire CMOS button, a PS2 keyboard port. Then we have a couple of eSATA ports, one FireWire port, two gigabit Ethernet ports, and 7.1 on audio. Anyway, thank you for checking out my blog on EVGA's P55 motherboard.